Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, March the 7th. I'm James Spann. A warming trend begins this afternoon. That's the good news that will carry us through the weekend. We'll check some of the Skycam shots. These were captured early, early this morning at about 5 o'clock. Got a few brave souls out there. That's the trustful Skycam looking at Chalkville Mountain Road. There's a look at downtown Jasper from the King Building and the Alabama Gulf Coast, quiet as could be. Hey, it's going to be spring break time down there soon. How about that? Satellite view, the upper low that helped to bring the cold air down this way is beginning to lift out to the northeast just off the upper Atlantic coast of the United States. The storm that greatly underperformed in terms of snow for Washington, D.C. and Baltimore. A lot of disappointed snow fans there yesterday. A light northwest flow aloft. The air is dry here. New trough coming into the west coast. We're starting the day below freezing. Those are captured at about 5 o'clock. Birmingham is at 30, 20s to the north. But again, we're going to warm up. There's a look at the uh, trend coming off the uh, various models for the next five days. Note that nice upward trend through the weekend. Now, we'll cool down a little bit uh, Tuesday of next week in the wake of that rain on Monday, but not by much. And uh, no really super-duper cold shots coming up anytime soon like the ones we've had over the past couple of days. Uh, yesterday, it was cold. There's the watch warning map. Things are relatively quiet around the nation. Still some winter weather issues over uh, New England near the coast and a few scattered issues out west. Now, look at this. This is uh, the day three convective outlook. There's a risk of severe weather over parts of central Texas, and that system will affect Alabama Monday. And Day three is Saturday, but severe weather looks very unlikely at this point on Monday for us, as you'll see. And this is the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Tuesday morning of next week, and all this rain would be on Monday. Uh, heaviest rain over the Mississippi Delta, over two inches there. And the rain here would be about three quarters of an inch. And again, we'll take a look at modeling here. This is the GFS, the 06Z run. At noon today, upper low well off the coast, we have a dry northwest flow aloft, and the sky will be bright and sunny. And we should reach the middle 50s today. Both the NAM and the GFS are at 55. Still below average by about 10 degrees, but at least we're moving in the right direction. Tomorrow we'll start the day near freezing, but we warm up into the middle 60s. Finally, that's where we should be for March. It's just been cold this month. Saturday as we kick off the weekend, that's going to be a good day. Upper 60s to near 70. I mean, that's going to feel nice. New storm forms, a surface low on the Colorado-Kansas border. And again, that's where some storms could break out over Texas. Sunday, be kind of breezy. Clouds will increase a little bit, but still a nice day. Uh, the high should be around 72 maybe. That's what the GFS is suggesting. The bulk of the rain and storms still west of the state on Sunday. Monday, the trough moves in here in positive tilt form. For a classic March severe weather setup, you want to see those things more negative tilt. So that's, that's a good thing. And then down at the surface... The surface low is north of us near Cincinnati with a band of showers and storms extending down into Alabama. So Monday looks wet with showers and storms. And as we have discussed in recent days, the instability is just lacking. That's the surface-based instability, valid uh, Monday. And there's a little bit over the southern half of the state, but even there, not much. This is the lifted index, and it goes negative from about Birmingham south. So there cl clearly could be some thunder, but... Uh, that's very unimpressive for a March storm system. And that could change, but for now, the severe weather possibilities look low. Tuesday of next week, we're a little cooler. Highs will drop back into the 50s with cold air advection. Uh, Wednesday looks nice, sunny with a high in the middle 60s, and Thursday looks good. Really, after Monday of next week, the, the GFS is suggesting it could be a relatively long dry spell in there. Uh, you have to go really to March the... Uh, 19th, about five days beyond that to, to find a chance of rain, troughing off to the west and uh, down below that. We are wet with a surface low near New Orleans. And on the 22nd, still looking a little unsettled, 
But again, that is not a severe weather look, and that's the good news. We don't see any really big severe weather set up here for the next two weeks. And considering the fact this is March and tornado season, that's a very good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have uh, notes in the blog. Unfortunately, I'll be traveling today down to Tuscaloosa. We're programming weather radios at Academy Sports, so won't be able to do an afternoon video. We'll be back to the two-a-day schedule tomorrow. But please watch us if you can on ABC 3340 News on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.